All right, so Ringcon is definitely one of the top smart ring brands out there right now. In fact, I think they're kind of a sleeper brand. I think you've got the the big players, which they come to mind probably, but Ringcon is really special. And I think one of the biggest things Ringcon does well is battery life. But all that said, I have reviewed the Ringcon Gen 2, which is thin, light, 12 day battery life. This thing is pretty fantastic, but What's even better is Ringcon just announced their Gen 2 Air, which if you think about what Air might mean, a little bit cheaper, maybe a little less features, but I've been wearing it for about a week now and I'm excited to compare both of these models and then let you pick which is best for you. Special thanks to Ringcon for sending out both of these for us to use here on the channel. And if at any time during this video, you want to either buy the Air or the regular Gen 2, links will be in the description for both and I will try to get you all a discount as well. Before we dive in today on this channel, we talk about tech that marries form and function. We like tech that both improves our lives and looks great while doing so. So if that sounds cool to you, please consider subscribing and like this video for more. All right, so let's go head to head with these two models here. First of all, both rings are just packed with tech top of the line features. Obviously they're both part of the Gen 2 lineup. So a lot of the same features are in both. So no matter which you choose, you're going to get continuous health monitoring, which includes SpO2, heart rate, HRV, things like that. You're gonna get sleep tracking, you're gonna get stress monitoring, activity and step tracking, menstrual health support, and even smart AI health chats. You have this little like smart AI health feature where you can just kind of chat with the AI model and ask how you're doing overall, how you slept last night, what activities you should be doing, all sorts of health stuff. So all of that with no monthly subscription, in case you were wondering, so fantastic. Now, one of the biggest deciding factors might be sleep apnea tracking. So the Gen 2 Air doesn't actually track sleep apnea. I personally don't mind that. It's not something I deal with. I know some of my family members and friends deal with that. So it might be something they would want to consider stepping up to the regular Gen 2 model for. But for me personally, I don't necessarily need it. So with this Gen 2 model, it was actually the first smart ring in the world to offer OSA, which is obstructive sleep apnea monitoring. Based on Ringcon's internal testing, it has over a 90% accuracy rating. And it's kind of huge. I mean, OSA affects over 1 billion people worldwide. If sleep apnea is something you need, the regular Gen 2 might be for you. If it's not something you're concerned with, as I've said, the Gen 2 Air does not come with that. All right, let's talk about battery life. The Gen 2 boasts like a 10 to 12 days, depending on ring size. If you have a bigger ring, they can fit more battery in, that kind of thing. But 10 to 12 days is from what I can tell, one of the very longest double and triple what other rings are able to do right now on the market. So that initially stuck out to me about Ringcon from the jump is just the insane battery life on these things. Now the Ringcon Gen 2 Air gets up to 10 days of battery life. Again, still wicked long compared to competitors on the market. If you want just a couple more days out of the ring, you might go with the, the regular Gen 2. Now the other part of battery comes with this. this is the charging case that comes with the regular Gen 2. This can add an extra 150 days of charge to your ring without having to plug it in. So if you're just scared of outlets or something and you don't want to be charging this thing that often in the wall, I mean, this packs a huge punch in terms of battery life. Plop it in here, close the lid, let it charge up for a couple hours, and then you have a couple days of charge on your ring. However, this is the charging puck for the Gen 2 Air and I think it looks fantastic. It matches all my Mac products, but this obviously doesn't hold a charge. It's just the charger, USB-C, plop the ring on there. I think what they've done that's really smart here is like this, for instance, only can charge the size 10 that I'm currently wearing because of how it's created. So this has to change depending on your ring size. What they've done with this is all of these will fit on this charger via magnets here. So it doesn't matter what ring size you have, you just have to make sure those magnets, which are pretty strong to be honest with you, line up there and then it's it's on its way charging. But like I said, doesn't hold a charge, so there's that as well. I think it's a good time to note right now that I think what Rincon has done to cut down on cost with the Gen 2 Air are things like this that aren't that big of a difference and it's kind of like a good trade, if that makes sense. Like, yes, you can't have this case that charges, but like maybe you don't need that if you're not on the move all the time. So I think they've done a great job just in general, 
cutting down the cost of the Gen 2 Air by cutting out some things that may not be important to some consumers, like sleep apnea, like the charging case, and some other things we'll get into here in a second. But while we're on the topic of price, let's talk about it. So Gen 2 starts at 2 99 and goes up to 469 for the rose gold version. However, the Gen 2 Air is just $199. So you can save a hundred bucks, have a few trade-offs, and it quickly becomes one of the most affordable smart rings with the best battery life in the market right now. And I would say it still packs plenty of health features for most users out there. All right, style and build. So the Gen 2 Air comes in two colors, Dune Gold and Galaxy Silver. I have the Galaxy Silver here. It looks really nice. Both of these models are kind of titanium based with the Gen 2 Air being a titanium steel. So the cost of metals here is a little bit cheaper for the Air model, which makes sense to me. Gen 2 Air also has the ability to swap out seven cover options for this. So if you're weightlifting, things like that, you might want to put that cover on seven different colors if you want to change out your colors daily, whatever it might be. So that's a pretty cool thing that they've added as well. So Gen 2 comes in four colors with this matte black. They've got three glossy versions as well. And as I mentioned before, the rose gold also. All this said, both models are super lightweight, as low as 2.5 grams, and have IP68 water resistance. So waterproof up to 100 meters. One more thing on the design side that I wanna mention, with the Air, they've added this little kind of rough part, that little oval. And what I've noticed with a lot of these smart rings is you're supposed to put the sensor like here facing the palm of your hand, but sometimes it can get spun around while you're sleeping or while you're working out or whatever it might be. So to be able to kind of feel that little oval right there, it's very subtle, but you can feel it. It's just a nice way of knowing that you're wearing the ring correctly and you can kind of scratch it too which is helpful. I love this design element because it helps you know without even having to like pull the ring off and look if the sensors are where they need to be. So I actually really, really like that. The original ring Gen 2 doesn't have that. Right, so which one should you buy? Well, I think it's kind of easy to be honest. I think if you want more premium metals, if you want sleep apnea training, that's a huge one. If you want a couple more days of battery life, if you want the charging case, then getting the regular Gen 2 is the way to go. If you don't need this charging case, if you don't struggle with sleep apnea problems, if this looks fine to you, then this is a really good and affordable route to go. And like I said, I think the biggest thing here is battery life. And both of these models pack so much battery, it's kind of crazy. So maybe the choice is a little bit harder for you, but honestly, I would go Air if it was my money, but it's up to you. Let me know which model you would choose down below, or if you have any other concerns about these rings, happy to answer any questions you might have. Again, special thanks to RingCon for sending out both of these for us to test and compare. If you'd like to pick yours up, link in the description down below. Again, we will try to get you a discount code, no promises, but thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Like this video for more, watch this video next, and then you're gonna love it or watch my original review of the Gen 2 right here. Can we still put that there? Maybe we'll put it right here. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one.